Let me just tell you what a nightmare and that try was. And charge his full <laughs> It was terrible. It was a terrible experience. I was crying. I was hurt. I was in so much pain. Let's talk about love. like a little disclaimer. Today is a little different. I was trying to think of how to say it, um, but I know that we have all ages that watch our channel. Um, we've had little kids come up to us. We've had older people come up that say they enjoy our, watching our family. So today is gonna be a little bit more geared towards um, an older audience. So if you're watching this with your kids and you're uncomfortable with them knowing about types of surgeries or anything else, I just wanted to give you the heads up. Feel free to watch it. Obviously we're a family channel. I would be comfortable with my kids watching this. Um, they're six and 11. But I just thought it'd be fair to kind of give you guys the heads up what today is about. We are on our way to Orange County to have a consultation for me for breast surgery <laughs> just saying it out loud um, we've kind of been more of a like filtered channel we've actually talked about this before in the past um, remember we filmed like Last surgery. We filmed my last surgery. I don't think we ever said what it I was think about. It's okay to, to talk openly about like the breast breast augmentation and all that. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a little backstory as to what's going on. I had after I had Jaden and Caspian. I nursed them for a very long time. Both of them, I think, were about two years old when I stopped nursing them, and it did a number on my body, specifically my breasts. So I decided that I wanted to get them taken care of when it was cosmetically affecting me in bathing suits and everything else. So I had surgery and crazy long story, I've had three surgeries. Oh yeah, the first time, let me just horrible, tell you guys. I met with a doctor, we went in, I had surgery. I woke up with legit one breast, just one. And he said to me that he couldn't give me the other one because I still had milk in my other side so he was like you get to have one and you can stuff the other side <laughs> let me just tell you what a nightmare and that was to charge his full <laughs> it was terrible it was a terrible experience i was crying i was hurt i was in so much pain and i was so bruised everywhere um and i had to stay like that for probably about two months until i found the next doctor this was all in utah um he was great i don't know what happened something's happening it's messing with um like how things are placed down there. My boobs are basically super jacked up. <laughs> so I'm going to get it fixed and hopefully this guy can help me. Um, it's kind of like one of those things that it's been an awkward process, but I'm beyond it now. Like now I'm just like, just make it right. I want to be able to wear a bathing suit without having any slippage or anything else. So we're heading out there today. Bummer news also is that Jaden is kind of sick. She's having ear problems, so we're gonna have to take her to the doctors later on. So two doctor's appointments today. I'm really nervous though. I just want to be fixed and better and have everything situated. Um, it's been a long process, right? Oh yeah. Just me and Andrew, uh, he's coming with me. He's seen it all. <laughs> it's been a process, hopefully. Uh, I can get things taken care of. Um, but we're gonna take you along with this process with us. I actually wanna film a little bit more than I did my last surgery. So not like obviously anything inappropriate, but just like kind of more of the process and be more vulnerable and open about this because honestly, I know there's a lot of controversy on this subject, but I don't really care. I wanted to do what was best for me and my body and I needed this really bad for my myself. So. All right, come along with us to the plastic surgeon. It's super fun. I don't know how much we're gonna be able to film in there, but you can film a little bit. Sneaky. Sneaky. I'm gonna talk a little quietly, because I don't know if we're supposed to film in here, but I just had a conversation with the doctor, and I sounded like a crazy woman. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. I just had a conversation with the doctor, and I sounded like a crazy woman. Explaining it. I was literally- The story's crazy. I feel like we need to explain more. more when I get, what? Nothing. When I get out, but we're trying to kind of keep it a little private here, because he is like, celebrity surgeon so I was just trying to respect his privacy too but our conversation that we just had I was like sounds crazy so my doctor's appointment really went really well and I feel like um you feel confident with him babe Yes, I did, did feel confident with them. This has been a traumatizing experience, so I'm very thankful for um, Megan over at the place that we're going, and she's been helping me a lot. So we're gonna 
Hopefully cross our fingers that everything's gonna work out. I was telling Andrew, we had bought a couple of things from Urban Outfitters right there. Yay! I don't know if you can see it. Um, <laughs> So Andrew is pretty much the food connoisseur, if that's a word. So he was like, let's go try this cute little restaurant. So attached to the food place was this cute store. Um, it was super eclectic. It had like baby stuff and house stuff and the cutest cards in the world. I mean, I do know some birthdays coming up. But I don't have a small enough little girl. Right? Could always adopt one. Isn't that cute? Uh huh. So I was like, maybe we can try and throw some outfits together. I think I can do it. Um, so he got some new pants. <laughs> some new shirts and I'm gonna see if we can get some photos and we're gonna try and hit the golden hour um, I'll tell you what we put together and show you some of the pictures if it works I've got my makeup in the car I think I have hairspray so I'm gonna touch everything up and change and he's gonna change and then hopefully get some hopefully good content cool. go check out our Instagrams tomorrow <laughs> shameless promotion go check out our Instagrams if you want to see if some of the pictures worked out um, I'm gonna uh, flash over really quick into what my mom's doing. Fingers crossing that they're filming a little bit and she could tell you a little bit about what's going on. So Papa and Caspian have decided they want to try to fly a kite. Okay, let's see what's going on. No success. Cas, what you gonna do? Alright, try it again. You got your bubble gum. Let me see. Can you make a bubble? Let me see. Better remove your hair. Nice. Would you love hair bubble gum? Have what? Hair bubble gum. That's <laughs> weird, Pop. Come this way. So these two are so adventurous. Papa, always make sure Cass is careful. Riding his bike. Wanted to try MMA class again. <laughs> Winterland, tell me all your secrets. It was a lot of fun, but I got sick. Your wildest moments, color trees, your yellow leaves move me. Early, but I'm not sure if I'm going back. Freezing, but we just pulled off into literally magic hour. We are standing so right there and it was just hitting like crazy. So, so we're gonna have to go perfect. check out our Instagrams. It's so cool, you guys. You gotta go see it. I can't wait to edit those photos. It was like, I was like, all right, it's fine. We're not gonna get it because <laughs> the. I kinda gave up hope and we randomly. The sun was setting, it Love was it. gorgeous and freezing, and we got our photos. We were quickly, I was like, take off your jacket, hurry! 
And he's like, I'm freezing. My hands are numb. It's like 50 degrees. It hurts. It but hurts. I think it was cool. Um, go check it out and leave in the comments on our photos on Instagram that you came yes, from the YouTube just so yes. we can like all intermingle. Yeah, and, and we'll, we'll respond to you guys on Instagram. If you go and let us know that you watched our video today and you came from there, like and comment on those photos. We'll respond to you guys.